What's up everybody? Coach Pat coming at you with another video, with another pros and cons video. Today we're going to be reviewing and discussing this smart Wi-Fi security indoor camera. Definitely indoor. Do not put this outdoors. Well, it's actually kind of small, kind of uh, futuristic, kind of cool looking. Is it any good? Let's go find out. Hi, hello, and what's up everybody? Welcome, welcome to PC by CP, or pros and cons by Coach Pat, where I give you real life evaluations on everyday products. If you enjoyed the video, please people, give me that thumbs up, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. And thank you so much for supporting the channel. So for starters, this little security camera, hopefully you guys can see it pretty good. I am gonna put some pictures, and I am gonna put a few more details in the description down below. But uh, this little security camera, smart Wi-Fi security camera. Uh, it actually has a lot of nice little features, uh, a lot of nice little things, and there's obviously some things that may not be as good. I am going to show some video of the actual video that this takes so that you guys can see a little bit of the quality of it. There's two modes, so there's the regular uh, definition, standard definition, or the high definition. Uh, definitely, I would recommend to anybody that's using this, use it as, you know, high definition. If it has the ability for it, there's no real need to have less quality. So, pros and cons. Pro number one, you guys know, I love to start out with the price. I paid like $23 on eBay. They do have it on Amazon. They do have it in other places. But I paid, I want to say it was 22 something, 23 bucks on eBay. Definitely a great price. I've seen some of these other cameras with similar specs go for a hell of a lot more. Some of them double the price. So some of the features. You can put your own micro SD on the side and I am gonna have some close-up pictures. This camera, you can uh, PTZ, so pan, tilt, and zoom uh, with your phone, with the app. It's actually super easy. So that is another pro. Pro number two, connectivity. How to connect it to your phone. You gotta download the app. It gives you like a little barcode. You scan it, download it to your phone, set it up, and bam. To be honest with you, it takes less than five minutes. So I'm gonna plug this camera in uh, so it can turn on and you guys can hear and see what it does when you turn it on. So basically it's just a USB cable, micro SD, into the little slot, and that's it. And of course, once you plug it in, you gotta wait a couple of seconds. As you can see, it does like a little power cycle and uh, it checks. to be very techy in order to connect these. I actually have, this is my second camera connecting to the same app. So it's really good, really quick and easy. The other great feature, uh, you hear everything when you're watching it on, your, on, on the app. So basically you turn on the app, you're watching the camera, you, you, know, you have the speaker on and you hear Let's say I'm, I use it to watch, you know, keep an eye on my doggy, especially when I have uh, the little one as a puppy. Uh, well, she's still a puppy, a crazy puppy too, by the way. But <laughs> the, um, I wanted to hear, you know, what was going on. And yeah, you definitely hear very clearly, you know. Again, this is not, you know, the most expensive camera you can get. So maybe the audio quality ain't gonna be as great, but let's face it, people. I just need to hear that what's going on in the house. I don't need to hear, you know, studio quality, you know, level. So it has a little speaker in here too. So when you are on the app and you want to talk via your phone, the speaker here will, you know, will uh, uh, have your voice coming out or any sound coming out of this. The speaker quality on this, it's not that good, but it does have a speaker. Again. It's not, doesn't have a Bose system in it, okay? So don't expect 
great things coming out of this. But if I am talking, you will hear it clearly enough to understand that there's somebody call, uh, talking and say, hey, if you have an intruder, you can actually say, hey, I'm calling the cops, whatever, I can see you on camera, all those things. So definitely another pro that it has a speaker, has a microphone. In the app, there's also an ability for you to uh, record onto your phone. So it's not only recording to your micro SD, you can pay if you want to, I choose not to, but you can pay to uh, record everything to the cloud. It's a pro, it's pretty inexpensive to be honest with you, but you know what? I just save it to my micro SD and if I do get an alarm, which is another pro, you do have a motion alarm on this thing. So it'll give you a notification on your phone. Hey, there's motion inside your house. You turn on your app, you're viewing it, and you can press record the video on your phone. So it's recording not only to the micro SD, but now you're recording onto your phone. And yes, you are recording the audio and the video at the same time. So all those little features make it a really, 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 really good camera. It is supposed to have like a night vision thing to help you see when it's dark. It ain't that good, but it's good enough. Again, you're paying 23 bucks for this, but it, for me, it's, it's more than good enough. Uh, again, I'm using it more to keep an eye on the doggies when we're out on vacation and that kind of stuff. And obviously for the house too, but for me, the, the intention was really to keep an eye on the dogs. I know that there's a lot of uh, pet lovers out there that yeah, probably do the same kind of thing that I do. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but believe me, when you have a little doggy, a little puppy, a little kitten, a little something, you want to keep an eye on them. Make sure they're not destroying the house, tearing up the house, eating up the house. Whatever it is that they do, they all do it. But anyways, for 23 bucks, with a speaker, with a microphone, you can pan, you can tilt, you can zoom, full HD, and the camera... To be honest with you, it is pretty good. So let's get to a couple of cons now. Cons on this little device. This little camera, it, it, the plastic is really cheap. It looks shiny and it looks kind of nice. So the, 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 the look of it is nice, but if you start touching it, you can see that if you drop it, you're gonna crack it. So it's not kind of rugged. It's not, it's not, it, it doesn't seem like it's a very strong plastic. It's very thin is what it seems like. So if you kind of drop this, you're putting it together, you're kind of moving it to another place. Uh, and if you just kind of drop it, it feels like it's gonna break. And I have not opened it up in the inside, but I'm pretty sure that the electronics inside are not the high end grade. But if you take care of it, it should last you for a very long time. The other one that I have has lasted me for over, I don't know, a year and a half. So I just wanted another angle uh, for, our, for, uh, for the house. So that's why I bought a second one. And um, the other con is, again, what I was saying earlier about a, having a speaker, that it is a pro. So the speaker is not that good, so it might be a con. Again, I'm kind of being, you know, kind of nitpicking at it a little bit because I don't really see it too much of as a con, but I just kind of want to give you an honest opinion. The speaker is not very good. It's, it's good enough to hear and, and, and to know that it's someone talking to you, but it's not clear enough. But I don't think that's the intention. So that's why I'm kind of being kind of like a little careful about this con. I don't wanna, I don't wanna nitpick too much, especially for the value. Um, and it looks kind of cool. Uh, then the other con is the night vision that is, a, is a, you know, night vision. The quality is not that good. It's a little grainy. But again, it's one of those things that you're paying 23 bucks for the similar quality that you will see, still grainy look on a night vision on a higher end camera, you're still gonna see some of that grain you know, look to it, um, but you will probably be able to buy two or sometimes even three of these cameras compared to that one camera that you're gonna pay so much money for. Uh, and again, the night vision, some of those higher end cameras is not that good either. Uh, they can't be that good, I mean, for the little cameras for the little, I guess, lights that it has in the infrared lights. Uh, the other con is the app. The app that it uses, it's, it's, it's good, 
but it doesn't have a lot of ability as to uh, picking your zones for your motion sensor and this and that. Uh, it, it's really good at sending you notifications. So that is a pro with the app, but the app could be a lot better. I'm kind of comparing it to the Ring uh, doorbell app. That by far is better than all the other security cameras that I have and the apps that they use. The Ring is actually really good at setting up zones where you want motion to be detected and schedules as to what times and this and that. I I don't mess around with it too much. I just leave it, you know, the whole time. Just if it is going to have a, an alarm, great. Sometimes I turn off the alarm system on this. Uh, it's not that it sounds like an alarm, but it's just the alarm for the notifications that you get on your phone or your, your tablet or whatever it is that you use. Um, but those cons are really the, the, the things that uh, you may want to see other brands but that warning that you are going to pay a hell of a lot more than this and that app is totally free so once you buy this for 23 bucks again i have two of these you use the same app you can have multiple cameras connected to that app that app is completely free if you want to pay and put your your recordings on the cloud so that you don't have to use a micro sd card and all that good stuff great uh, I don't pay for it, so uh, really the only thing I paid for was the camera. The app was free. It's about four and a half inches by four and a half inches, you know, this way too. So it's really not even that big. You can kind of hide it in your bookshelf and so many other places. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please, people, give me that thumbs up. And, of course, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.